Hey guys, I'm back. Today I have a ridiculously pink shirt on and a lot of books to show you. So we should probably just get this started. So the first couple books I'm going to mention were ones that I picked up from the local bookstore downtown, starting with One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. And this is a book that I picked up for this month's um, book club that I'm in. And yeah. The second book I picked up because Climb the Stacks um, has mentioned Joan Didion a lot, and I wanted to read her as I thought this would be a good place to start. So it was Slouching Towards Bethlehem by Joan Didion. The next two books I found in the sales section, and I picked these up because Words of a Reader um, really like this author and these um, books. So I thought maybe they'd be up my alley too, and that is Decline and Fall by Evelyn Lau and Vile Bodies. The next um, grouping of books were all from my local book sale, um, so <sighs> starting with Truman Capote's in Cold Blood. I've been wanting to read more Capote ever since I finished Breakfast at Tiffany's, and so I'm excited to finally have another one of his books. The next book is Gail Foreman's Just One Day. I kind of get a vibe from this that it's a lot like Before Midnight um, in those series, so maybe it's not, but that's the vibe I'm getting. The next two books I'm super excited about, I found these in the kids section at the library sale, and that is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman and The Subtle Knife. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have the amber spyglass, or else I would have definitely picked that up too. Um, but I read these books probably when I was 10, 12, um, and did like book reports on them, but haven't read them since, and really love them, so I can't wait to get back and reread those. The next book is quite a large book, and it's probably a little ambitious, since I have 50 million other books to read, but um, it was $2, and I couldn't really resist. And that is Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace. Um, this book is like a thousand pages, and I have a feeling that it's one of those books, even if I read and finished, it might go over my head, but you never know until you read it, and um, we'll give this one a try. The next book is The Luminaries um, by Eleanor Ken, and I don't really know that much about this book other than I've heard good things, and I wanted to pick it up. This next book is Inferno by Dan Brown. I recently picked up a copy of The Lost Symbol, which is the third book in the series, and this is the fourth one. Um, so hopefully I'll get around to reading these sometime soon, but you never know. Looks like I've got a lot of books on my TBR list now. <laughs> Not that I didn't before. This was just like, oh man. What am I doing to myself? I'm probably just stressing myself out because I got all these books, but whatever. Too late now. Damage done. The last book that I'm going to mention, I picked up um, because I've just had a general interest in the subject, but who knows if I'll actually get around to reading it. But that is The Bullfinch's Mythology. Um... I, yeah, I find mythology really interesting. I, anyways. <laughs> uh, and so I took a classic literature class in college and read the Odyssey, and I found it to be very intriguing. And then last year I read this book, Surprised by Joy and the Four Loves by C.S. Lewis, in which he sort of talks about his uh, early days of childhood and he was greatly influenced by mythology and reading um, those classics and kind of getting into that. Um, he talks about a lot about Thor and 
that whole story. And so since we have the comic movies coming out, the Marvel movies, um, I thought it would be interesting to kind of see this in comparison. I don't... I believe this is all Greek mythology, but I'm not quite sure. So yeah, that's it. Like, subscribe. Hopefully these pique your interest at all. If you want to see anything specific from me, let me know. I'd love to have suggestions. Um, and yeah, if you've read any of these books or any of these books looks interesting, comment below. Let me know. I'd love to talk to you. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye, guys.